My name is Pat O'Connor. I'm the broker owner of the Veritas Real Estate Group. We're located in Coral Springs, Florida. And today I want to talk about uh, fraud here in South Florida, particularly deed fraud. Now, the fact that there's fraud in South Florida should come as no big surprise to people that live here. Uh, one of the most publicized ones is where an individual will put in a rental in Craigslist and request that the full rent be forwarded to them. And out of state people who may want a bridal shower, this, this was in the news, I don't know, two or three years ago, but it stuck on the, in my mind. The mansion on the intercoastal, they responded to an ad in Craigslist. The bride and the bridesmaids flew down from New York. They arrived at the front door of the mansion and it was locked. The individual who had posted the ad was unreachable. And once the owner, they could locate the owner, it's like he had no idea, you know, what the transaction was. He wasn't involved. So they had already forwarded the rent for this weekend getaway uh, for the bride and it didn't exist. So that's, you know, that's not an uncommon occurrence here yeah probably want to get your rentals from the mls you know get a agent or realtor.com where agents post the rentals and maybe not a third party and i went to a closing yesterday and was talking to the title closer about you know anything new on mortgage frauds or real estate frauds here in florida and she said one of her biggest concerns was with out-of-state sellers who had no mortgage they would contact her well the buyer would, would choose her here in broward county the brought the buyer chooses the title company and pays for title. So, you know, a property's listed for sale and then she contacts the seller who may be in New York. She doesn't know if they actually own the property or not, right? They tell the listing agent to sell the property. The listing agent what do you know? We have limited proof. We look at the deed. Does it match? Does their driver's license or whatever match the name on the deed? And, you know, we don't usually check on those kind of things. You say you're the owner. Okay. You want it listed. Okay. We get you a buyer. The buyer transfers the funds to, you know, the titles closing company and all that kind of stuff. The deal closes and the seller wasn't the seller. She doesn't really have a good way of checking. They're not attending the closing. It's what we call a mail away. The documents are either faxed or emailed and then returned back to her and the money is wired. There aren't checks involved. It's all electronic transactions so that's one of her worries is with out-of-state sellers that had no mortgage right because then you could contact a lender you could find out more is there a mortgage blah 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 the lender would have to get involved you know these kind of things um so in her office she gave me a flyer about a relatively new broward county uh program that's free that the property appraiser's office has initiated. And this one, the property owner will get an alert whenever there's a change, a recorded change to title. So Florida law doesn't require that the county 
in the records office verify new deeds as they come into the office. They don't have to go and try to authenticate that the seller is who the sellers say they are. They have a notarized deed that comes in, maybe a quick claim, maybe a warranty deed. And as long as it's notarized, they record it in the county records. And at that point, the title changes and whoever's on that deed now owns the property. Maybe it was a fraudulent deed, right? They forged the deed. They had it notarized by someone that may or may not have been in cahoots with them, but there was no closing. You know, maybe it was a quick claim or, you know, whatever. The name is now recorded on the deed and they can sell the property finance the property, uh, mortgage the property, evict tenants and move in. They can do pretty much whatever they want to do with the property. So Broward County has started a free owner alert program. The web site to sign up will be a link right here. And um, it, it's a like five blank application, your name, uh, I think your address, and either a, your Florida driver's license or the property ID. And then there's a button where you can search to look up the property ID. And that will set up an alert that anytime ownership changes, that the title changes, you'll get an alert. So you can bring in the police, you can do whatever you have to do to prevent someone from taking possession of the property. Relatively new program. I wasn't aware of it till the title company had showed me the flyer. So I just wanted to share it with all of you. There's no reason not to sign up. Protect your property. Protect your rights, avoid any, you know, lawsuits down the road when you're in New York and, hey, I came to my summer home and there's other people living in there. All right, so act today, save yourself some headaches, and I will see you next week. Bye.